Okay, we're live and hopefully you can hear me. We're back with Against the Dark Master, Winds of War, which is currently on Kickstarter. I was looking at it before the game. There's only 10 days left to back this. So let me throw the link in the chat for everybody. And uh, yeah, check it out. Back it. We've had a ton of fun with it. This is our second go of it. And uh, I think we're all looking forward to playing the third part of this adventure when it comes out later on. So let's yeah. let's do the little round table here. We'll do the recap and then we'll get into it. Bill, who are you, who are you playing? Who am I playing? Uh, I'm I'm playing Gandril Windblade. He is the lone elf in our group. Uh, he's actually from a town that is just a little bit over and he joined the entire, uh, journey here to find Nevin, which we found last, uh, last game. So he's going to rescue Nevin and he's, he's Audi. See you guys. <laughs> oh, is he now? All right. Gandril. Oak, what do you got going on and who are you playing? Uh, I stream a little bit here and there on Twitch TV slash Urians, U R A E N C E, mostly RPG stuff, some PC stuff. I'm playing uh, Athelstan the Black. <laughs> He's uh, from a from nobility, but had some uh, family issues, so had to kind of leave the kingdom and uh, making himself a better man. And right now, he's uh, Gotten everybody into a pickle at the moment. I was going to say, Athelstan the troublemaker after last session. It's not, that wasn't his intention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Mike, what do you, what do you, what do you got going on? Who are you playing? I got nothing going on. Nothing. But I am, because uh, I'm too busy playing in all of Matt's great games um, and, and, and play testing all this stuff. So I am playing tonight uh, Madoc the Cunning, uh, a dwarf. Who's come down from the mountains? He is of uh, Clan Frostforge, and he is here to uh, organize and learn about the humans and find allies against the Dark Master for his clan. Um, he is he is cunning, as you see in his name, and wise beyond his years. Uh, he is also uh, meticulous in his manner and very detailed. Uh, he has lots of useful things in his pack. His word is his bond, and um, he is going to help uh, Iman to solve Willow Lake's troubles, which he's already done. So technically, he's good to go. But well, Iman's dead. Iman e or Iman was the yeah. former warden, and you're now warden. Right. But... right. So we've taken his place, and we're still trying to help Willow Lake, and things are getting complicated. We're and it's so complicated. In fact, we're about to kill the people that were hired to protect the place that we're trying to help. Go right. Figure. So that's um, Tobald is not here tonight. Unfortunately, he's ill. Uh, he's also one of our two troublemakers from last week, so convenient that he's not here. Uh, but we have Wes. He's playing <laughs> Mornine. Wes, what, what do you got going on? Tell us about Mornine. Um, not a whole lot going on. I'm still uh, jamming away at the code for this character sheet, uh, the update. And I'm playing Mornine. She's a uh, illegitimate. Uh, daughter of a, a nobleman from the uh, city of White Walls, uh, and she <clears throat> uh, she, she uh, had become a uh, apprentice to Nevin, who we finally found after she came all this way to find him. And now things have gone awry. Yes, things have gone awry. So why don't you guys do a recap of what happened last week? We put we played a little bit of a short session last week because we had Nick, one of the developers of this game, join us. So we played for about an hour. So why don't you guys do a little recap of what took place in that hour? Well, I guess since I'm the troublemaker, I'll uh, describe what happened. <laughs> yeah. So uh, everybody but me and Tobold uh, rescued the old man from out by the altar that was underground at the uh, Thane's Keep. They sent him out the window, wrapped up in a rug, and I'm like, what's this? And so I pulled the man out and put him in my warm cloak, trying to keep him more comfortable than a rug, and we're going to take him to his tower. Well, we're wardens and forthright, so there's no reason to be skulking about. I'm heading straight for his tower. We encounter two of these mercenaries who have uh, been put in charge of guarding the town by this thing, who is, of course, worshiping the Dark Master. 
don't know if they're in on it or not, but I send them, I tell them to go get their mask, their Lord, that I need to talk to him. And they don't like my tone of voice and decide that they're going to fight me. So uh, I set the old man down, tell everybody else to get him to the keep and I'm going to square off on him. And as I'm waiting, uh, Tobal has my back, cracks him with his uh, sling, disarming one of them. Yeah, that was, then, that was a good shot. That yeah, was, it was awesome. Yeah. And instead of everybody taking the old man and running like I'm hoping they will do, they all stand with me. <laughs> and so now here we are with uh, one guy yelling for help, one guy on the ground. I think one of them's still up. Yeah, one's on the ground, one's still up. The one who's still up is actually in really, really rough shape. Like he is. Yeah, he's the one that took it in the hand. He is close to, to I, I drop I just want to go on record to as saying that the rug was to hide the old man. <laughs> that was the cunning part. Because uh, that's not conspicuous either. What are you doing with the Thane's rug going through town? They don't know. It's, it's a rug. Who knows? It's my rug. Yeah. I it's mean, anybody's it's, rug. It's my rug. I always walk around town in the middle of the night with my rug. With a rug. We're allergic to the sunlight and we had to move. It's it's a night move. Night moves. Oh, man. Uh, this one got kicked out of his house and the rug's the only thing he wanted <laughs> yeah, to take. He got, his, his wife threw him out. I mean, they totally believe that seeing us. Totally. Well, here we are. Epicam 1981, thank you so much for hosting this stream. Um, so, yes, here we are. What else did you guys uncover? So, he is in League with the Dark Master, Thane. Uh, and then he is using an amulet uh, to try and summon or open a portal large enough for an army to come through. We got the book. You guys got the book. And it was filled with his notes of him trying to figure this out and get to the bottom of it the tunnel led to a um a secret like stonehenge kind kind yes. of place too i think yes that's right but you guys did not go in that direction you thought you said let's get this old man to his tower let's walk through the uh town of heavily armed guards i think that when i say there's 30 or 40 of them they're they're mercenaries they're hired hired mercenaries and uh they are definitely well they so far they have been very loyal to the thane who you now has learned is in league with the dark master and is quite evil and uh yeah 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 good times so we left off in combat wombat so let's just jump over to that i suppose let me uh change the overlay here so the folks watching us can see uh what we got going on let's zoom in here it's just a makeshift battle map because this was not expected I, I did not plan for this to take place uh I. I, I i set up other battle maps you know thinking oh maybe they'll do this maybe they'll do that maybe they'll go in that direction or this direction no no you know better Oops. Than that. yeah right so uh, <laughs> how long have we been gaming now i know right i thought i prepared but apparently not so we are in combat. Let me open up the turn tracker here. It should have saved everything. That's the beauty of um, Roll20. It didn't. Look at that. The numbers are gone. Oh, there are no numbers. That's right. There are no numbers in Dark Master because it all depends on the speed of your weapon, the type of weapon you're using. So we just, I just moved and shifted people around depending on the speed of their weapon or spell that they have. So... We're back at the top of the turn order, so let's turn order. So let's go through this together. So we have the assessment phase. Roll perception to assess if needed. We nobody's needing that at this point. Uh, it's the action declaration phase comes next. So declare your actions and targets for the current round. So you want to say now who you're attacking, what you're attacking them with. Then we do the move phase. You program in your movement. You see where everybody goes from there. Um, the two guards are stunned right now. I believe, Athelstein, you're stunned as well, are you not? I know I'm bleeding, and I dropped my weapon. I don't know that I if I'm stunned or not. Okay. You did drop a weapon. Yeah, you're bleeding one point of bleed damage every right. turn, round. Um, it's not... It's, it's a, it's a I, slow I, death. I, I was trying not to kill the man and hit him with the butt of my axe, and I brought the blade across my forearm and cut myself it's it's a very slow death oh there's a question that came up last week uh so the folks who are watching if you're here last week and you're wondering what the answer was to it um it was asked why athelstain's armor is so high but his defense i believe it was was so low 
And the reason behind that, the way it's built is if you, the, the bigger, the bulkier, the, the heavier the armor you're wearing, the lower your defense is going to be, but the harder it is, it's going to be to damage you. You're like to, to, you have to roll really high to actually like get through and do damage to someone wearing heavy, heavy, big, bulky, good armor. So that's why it's set up that way and why his character sheet is character sheets. Correct. Everything is, is accurate. Um, so who wants to move where? Let's do this movement phase. Move and maneuver phase, it's called. Does anybody want to move? Not me. Other than to get up or what? I am to going to run back beside Mornine. Right? We're doing movement phase already? <clears throat> yes. Yep. Our declaration of movement. I think you let me bring it up here again. Uh, move and maneuver. It's action declaration. I'm sorry. Declare what your action. What are you going to do? Who's you're casting a spell? You're attacking with your sword. Attacking with your axe. What are you doing? What are you, this round? And then we maneuver because people could actually move away from you, and you might you might not be able to do what you want to do. We saw that last time we played this game. You guys said I'm going to attack them with my axe, and then they kind of got out of your range, or they got blocked by something else, and you couldn't do it. How do you uh, remove a bleed condition? Uh, it's gonna Band -Aid? be it's gonna be healing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it takes place really out of combat. Okay, I didn't know if that was something like you could do. You kind of like suck on it with your mouth a little bit, and then <laughs> yeah, I've been looking on it. I'm gonna <laughs> sheath my sword and pull out my bow. Uh, you're right next to them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> and as movement, I'm running away. Oh, okay. like like the heroic elf I am. So, uh, <laughs> so you're sheathing your sword, drawing your bow, for your for your action. Okay. Um, I'm picking up my axe since I dropped it. Picking up your axe. Um, made I'm casting a spell. Yeah, you were uh, you you had prepped a spell last. Uh, last yeah, it should round. be going off this one. Yeah, yep. it's going off. Madoc will. Um, do two things. He's going to smash this guy in front of him with his axe. Uh, um, not going to draw blood, but he's going to just brain the shit out of him. And um, also, he's going to uh, yell something in dwarf, dwarvish uh, to the effect of uh, cowardly elf. I feel like there's a very thin line between knocking someone out and knocking somebody's skull inside out. Well, we're going to go up to that line, sniff it, see if we accidentally cross it. You know, <laughs> Knows what could happen. <laughs> All right. Um, it's Tobold's there, but not really there. Okay, so He's move and maneuver. He's going to do a sling. Yeah, move and maneuver phase. Move up to your full movement rate or double movement rate if sprinting before move skill rolls. So is anybody moving? They're not moving. I, I am. They're stunned. You're moving? Oh, yeah, so you're, you're moving away, right? So you're just kind of like getting as far away as you can. Like, we'll put you there at the edge of the map. That's there, but you're 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 just getting away as far and fast as you can. Isn't sure. he one? Can isn't he say... the one that caused the problem? No, no, it's Athelstane. No. That's this guy. Oh, okay. All <laughs> I right. was the one All trying right. to stop it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You're the one who dropped the old man in the mud and Don't wandered over your axe. Yeah, I'm. I found I'm a running towards it wasn't, it wasn't Nevin funny. for what it's worth. Right. Uh, okay, so if nobody's moving. Then we go into spell phase A. So that means Mornine gets to pull Yay! off a spell that she's been <laughs> prepping since last session. And I have a feeling is, that that circle back there underneath my that's, turn that's order yeah. is probably your radius. All Ailey, right. Yeah. So it looks like Athelstane's going to be uh, taking uh, the effects of Sorry, this sorry, Athelstane. I've been protecting your ass. This I whole know. Time. Until right now, when you like got these guards all grumpy. So this giant meteor okay. is going to come out of the sky and crush you. Yeah, right. Um, she's actually casting uh, slumber. I think it's called slumber. I don't remember what they named it. I think it's sleep. I, I was looking sleep. at the spells earlier today. Sleep or slumber? Yeah, one of those two. And uh, well, here I got the. I don't know which version of the quick start guide I have. I feel like I have an older one, but I might not. I'm using a different one because I couldn't find the one that I've been using the, the last few weeks. So I, I think I've I've been well trying to use the newest one. I've got version 1.0. 
think I'm on two point something. Let's see, I can't find mine for some reason. I yeah. Anyways, uh, I have the tables. That's all that matters. Yeah, it's the really the important thing is going to be the spell casting modifiers table or the uh, spell casting table. I have them in front of me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm rolling, and this character sheet isn't complete on the spell. So. I'm rolling my base uh, lore uh, for this, which is the uh, mind control. And I'm then going to add plus 10 for uh, preparing for a round and yep. a plus 10 because those targets are static. So it's going to be an additional 20 on top of my roll here. And hopefully it'll be very high roll. Or not. 89. Just spend one of those story points. Yeah, I might, huh? Does it allow me to you re roll? Can. Yeah, it lets you re-roll, didn't it? Yeah. Here, let me find it here. Spending so. dri drive points. Oh, story points. Wrong game. Um, spending <laughs> drive points. Ah, it's uh, not just me. Re-roll a failed skill or save roll uh, with a special plus 10 bonus to the re-roll. Re-roll a suffered critical strike, lowering the severity level by one. Uh, and a character can spend five drive points to consider the result of an open-ended roll as a natural 100, treat a critical oh. strike as slaying, ignore all penalties, or double the area of effect, targets, range, duration, oh. or base can, damage on a spell. Can that well, be used even if you critical fail? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, th I don't think it's going to matter in the watches, because that's going to be a total of 89. 89? Do you want to do a reroll with, with a bonus 10% on top of that? Uh, of, on the uh, new one? I... I... I don't think it's going to matter. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure, Wes? Mm. Sure, I'll re-roll. I totally would have re-rolled last week on that failed charisma thing. <laughs> That's got a little Monty Hall thing going on here. You want yeah. door number two? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, push the button again. Uh, so it's going to be a total of plus 30 this time. Oh, yeah. 137. 137. Ooh. So where are my tables? Area spells attack table? No, it's a spell casting table. It's just a spell. It's not actually an attack spell, right? So they have to make a save now, I believe. I think it says in, in the chat there. It In, like, with your character sheet? Uh, no, in uh, range. I, I posted it into game chat. Range 30 meters, area of effect 3 meter. Save up to yes. Four levels of creatures. Uh, yeah, save yes. Up to four levels of creature in the area of effect. Deep fall deeply asleep. Oh. The targets will immediately. Uh, the targets will immediately wake if they're shaken. So I guess they fall asleep, and the save is for later. Four levels. Loud noises will grant them a save. Targets will immediately wake if they're shaken. Product. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't see a save on there. Do you? It looks well, like I mean, this, there's a save included in the spell, like the spell statistics. But in the description, it doesn't really say. I, I'm, I'm not going to get to swing my axe, am I? No, you're not. <laughs> you are not. Mike, when has somebody being asleep or lying down or incapacitated <laughs> ever stopped you? I say go for it, buddy. I'm role-playing a cunning dwarf, though. That's He's cunning. So, yeah. In my mind, uh, uh, Mornine finishes up the spell and she's like mm -hmm. now let's get nevin in the tower yeah so these guys all of a sudden just drop to the ground snoring as does athelstain and i'm bleeding and he's bleeding <laughs> yeah, that's yeah i'll go grab nevin whoever um whoever else can grab athelstain and Let's get out of here. And you can yeah, hear the sound of clanging there, and voices going, where, where were they? Where were they calling for backup? Where are they? And you see torches coming around corners and stuff. There's, there's voices. Uh, what are the coup de gras rules here? <laughs> nah, I'm just like, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay. It had well, to be said. Be the first... It was for future reference. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time you've done that. <laughs> so that's why I had to confirm. Oh, man. Okay. Let's go back to our lovely faces. Okay, so, yes, you hear voices and shouting and clanging and shadows of torches, light emanating from torches as, uh, they, where are they? Where were they calling for help? We're going to hustle off. So you're going to grab Athelstain, Madoc, and um, Gandril is grabbing Nevin? Yes. 
<laughs> yep. And sprinting to the tower, I guess. Although, <laughs> well, I think we're almost at the tower. You, said, you, they, you could wake me up just by slapping me, couldn't you? Should, should we maybe just get the heck out of the town at this yeah, point? Yeah, that might be a better goal at this point, just not be in the town anymore. That could be a good idea. A, a loud sound awake? will wake up Athelstein. You can just like clap really loud in his ear or something, or just shout in his ear. But we're going to do that away from the sleeping guards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right, so you guys are running uh, through through the village, the town. I think it's a. Well, once I'm awake, I'm gonna say we should hide the other two. Well, not you're just not, leave them out in the open. They're not waking you up. You guys were like, no, no, we, we, we we don't have time for that. We have to run. You were like there on the map, almost at Ethelstein's tower. So you have an east gate that you can uh, get out of. Is that the are plan? There guards at the east gate. Well, I guess we're going to find out, won't we? Are the we? guards coming from the East Gate? I guess we're going to find out, won't we? <laughs> Are we heading to the East Gate? Oh, where do you guys want to go? Tower. Or do you want to go to Nevin's Tower? Where do you want to Where do you want to go? go? Behind, let's go behind Nevin's Tower and surveil the East Gate. There you go. Don't we have a halfling spy with us? Or... No. Where's our half? He's, Where's our... he's absent this week. <laughs> He's he's ill. He can't make it this week. Uh, he ran right. to go check on his uh, cousin his or cousin, sister yeah. or whatever it is. So um, the uh, Maydoc the Cunning sees well in the dark, um, and he surveils the uh, the tower. W what is the status of the East Gate? He sees well. Okay. Um, you have dark. That's one of his racial things. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I, Ken. I'm sorry, Ken. That's fine with by me. Uh, you see that um, there are uh, there is one guard standing there, and it's one of the um, the local militia men. It's not one of these uh, mercenaries that have been hired. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna move up to the gate uh, quickly, and mm -hmm. um, Medak will say, "Open the gate." Sure, you 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 walk up and you say, "Oh, warden, what are you? What, what's going on? What's what's all this noise? What's what's happening?" I, I need you to uh, um, open the gate. Why are you carrying one of your fellow wardens in your arms? And why are you carrying? What is that, Nevin? Why are you carrying him? One well, of no, the other guys. The other guys awake. Um, <laughs> says, um, "I will tell you, but you have to come with us. You can't stay here." <laughs> Am I awake or not? I thought you weren't waking up Athelstane yet because the loud noise was going to wake up the other two. Well, oh, okay. now that we've oh. moved away from. Oh, all right, all right. So you're just yeah. going to yell in his ear, like, but. Say uh, we we have no time. If you care for your uh, for the safety of those in the village, we have to go. Uh, are you gonna try and like convince this guy that uh, to get out of here? It's a very compelling uh, argument. Uh, you know, in the middle of the night, as the mercenaries are blowing whistles and on a manhunt. Just say we were never here. Um, where where's the uh, uh, what's the status of the door? Is there a uh, a bar across it or yeah, what, there's what? just a bar across it. All right, well, Madoc's just going to push through and lift the get bar and, and open the door. <laughs> just up and over. Okay. He's, oh, Wardens, what's going on? Why, why is Nevin passed out? What is happening? You need to rouse I, the other guards, do you know not what, the mercenaries. I, I, need, I need you to come with me because I need to tell you what's going on, but we can't stay here. Your lives are in danger. Follow but my, me. But my and family. Just, what about my family? Follow me, and uh, he's going to push through and, uh, and and lead the group out through the um, the gate quickly, heading uh, it to cover. Is I assume there's uh... um yeah yeah so you just uh, just roll me I guess a song and tail. How many rounds have passed since we left combat? I don't know. We're on combat. So there's no rounds. Well, I'm I'm slowly dying. So oh. <laughs> Uh, you've lost uh, another uh, three hit points. Gotcha. I see where you're this, getting with that. I'm, yeah, I'm bleeding Ma out here, boss. Uh, um, um, Maydock will say, that's not going to work. We can't leave a blood trail. Somebody find his wounds. It's not like... Yeah. It's not like, Is hey, that caring should, enough? We should heal our friend. We can't have this because they'll be able to follow it us. It is the middle of the night. No one will be able to follow it at this hour. Uh, well, we should, probably should find his wounds anyways. Um, what did you want me to roll? Uh, song and tail. Ooh, okay, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> when you prefix it like that. Yeah. Um, how do I roll that? Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, he goes, yeah. no, I can't, I can't leave my family behind. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, um, he, uh, uh, as, as they're pushing through the gate, Madoc will whisper in his ear. He'll say, uh, um, the, the Thane has been inspelled by the Dark Master. Oh, you're just going to throw that out there. I, I am. And uh, then we're, we're going to uh, push and on. And you're just going to push on. All right. Yep. Yeah. He's, oh, my God. What? No, don't, it can't uh, be. It can't who's be. The, uh, and he'll say, don't trust uh, Harkin or his mercenaries. Who's the, the guy that we kind of made captain of the guard or whatever? Where's he at? And what was his name? He's he's not in sight now. Yeah. But uh, I'll tell it, this guy, you need to find Captain So and so. Sure. Rouse all your guards. Say Harkins men may be in league with the Dark Master as well. We do not know, but the Thane has been ensnared by his foul magics. We, we go to like, seek him out now and see if we can God, bring him back. No. Oh, it can't be, it can't be. Um He was well, torturing Nevin here. Yeah. The old man? Nope. Why? Why does the Dark Master do anything he does? We can't, Tari. We have to push on. I was going to say, I'm remember, sorry, the, the town does not know he's a wizard. They just think he's... You just know that he's an old man that shows up from time to time and lives in the tower. It's like, why, why did he suffer death? Why would he Why would he torture Nevin? He's just a just an old man. How are we doing with the... Um, the or, or do we, are we seeing any torches approaching? Uh, yeah, there's shouting and torches are starting to approach and there's a blood trail. But it's night. But it's night. Somebody need to roll a like a healing check. So or something. bleeding can be treated in a safe That's environment healer. with a healer skill roll. Characters suffering from light bleeding, which is what you have, must also spend some bandages to treat their wounds. While severe bleeding, uh, you need a healer's kit. Character suffering, yeah. So light bleeding is healed immediately once treated, leaving the character free to continue their adventure. So all you need some bandages, and you need to get to a safe place. <clears throat> this isn't safe, huh? No, you need to GTFO. Yeah. Okay. Let's push. Let's on. get to the edge of the woods and okay. deal with that, and sure, continue remember there's, and there's make farms. a game plan. There's farms surrounding this area, also. Even if you just get out of sight or into the darkness, and just kind yeah, of can we there. find like a barn nearby? Yeah. Can... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. you guys get out on the road, and you you know you see that there's oh like six farms in the nearby area, so you can just like choose one at random, go there, and they Raven all have barns. Nearby. They all have barns or, or stables for like the horses and such, so you can go to one and go in there and try to hide and heal your your bleeding companion that's not an issue you don't need to roll for that you just go to a go to choose like one through six you go to that barn or you go to that farm and you go there and you hide out and you heal you guys so who's trying to heal we left, out the, we left out the east gate you did leave out the east gate yep yeah. yeah raven locks the closest We'll tell the uh, guard on our way out to meet us, send an emissary to Ravenlock Lock Farm in the morning, sure. and uh, that's where we'll go. Okay. Sounds good. I'll just put you guys on the world map here. World map, area map. So you're going to... Okay. So you head to that farm. You go there. The lights are all out. There's nothing going on. It's quite late at night at this point. It's, uh, it's past midnight. Uh, so the lights are out. You don't see any activity on uh, at any of the farms, to be honest. Uh, and you make your way to uh, the barn. Inside the barn, there's uh, there's some horses, there's some cattle, there's some sheep. Uh, there's a hayloft up top. What, Go up to the hayloft, to... set up for the night, I guess. All right. Well, hang on. You... <laughs> Don't Torches we want to? Don't... You're going dark. Well, ha hang on a second. Uh, Madoc says, uh, should we not go and? Attempt to find the, the the thing. We know where he is. If we don't go now, I don't think we'll have another chance to confront him. Agreed. Agreed. Let's get the bleeding done on. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. We can't have blood trails. I agree. But after that, let's uh, let, let's get to the <laughs> get to the thing. Stop the thing. Stop the thing. Are we Bloody thinking he is? Dispelled by the Dark Master, or is he is he simply a bad man? He's probably been tricked and deceived, but we don't That's know. Probably the artifact that he's found. Wizard, which which one's the wizard? Is that the uh... Mornine? 
well, nice. his character. Nevin's well, the real wizard, but he's passed out. Yeah, well, uh, well, that's true. Um, uh, uh, Madoc will say, "Can we? Uh, what can we do for Nevin? Perhaps he has more answers for us." He is much more. He's in way worse shape than, um, <laughs> than I want to say Madoc. No, I'm not looking at my screen. Uh, than Athelstane, but he's more like levels of exhaustion and such from being chained up and malnourished and. He, he needs some sleep. I do not think we can stay here uh, for very long. Uh, they will organize parties to search for us. They'll start with the nearest farms. Let's bring him. Let's bring uh, Nevin with us to the site rather than leave him at risk. Well, he's not exactly a sack risky. of flour here. <laughs> We leave him. We run the risk of him being recaught. But if we take him, perhaps he is uh, too weak for the journey. Well, if the thing was also using him for whatever maybe his latent ability is and needs him, bringing him closer maybe put him at risk. Perhaps we should wake up the farmer and see if they will take him in and hide him. I He's fear that. Would, here. I fear that this would just lead to complications. All of this will lead to complications. We must act with haste. Can we throw together a quick uh, two-man gurney type thing? Oh, I think we could find that here, yes. Yeah, you put that together and take him with us. He can sleep and eat as we go, and he'll be a lot more transportable. I'm very cunning. Let me see what I can put together. Uh, what would, would there be? World War II stretcher gurney type thing. Yeah, it's just stuff uh, <laughs> like... Um, Look for shafts from uh, farm implements and maybe uh, some canvas or some um, yeah 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 uh, some sackcloth or something yeah can some fashion into uh, some burlap sacks and such yeah that feed would be in yeah exactly yeah let's see here just make me a perception roll just to gather some goods just standard difficulty. Are you fine enough to put together? Um, you're gonna have to drag him. It's not you're not gonna be able to make a gurney where you can just like hoist him up and carry him. He's gonna be dragging across the ground. You got a partial success there. Is there a wagon in the barn? Um, no. Okay. Is there? Are there horses? There are horses, but uh, Gandril a very long chips, time to roll that chips in and uh, helps you and helps uh, make a, a, a much more sturdier gurney. Excellent. So it's right. uh, it's about one a.m. now. Did anybody ever roll healing? I never saw a healing roll. Did I? For poor Athelstane. It's based on wisdom. I don't know who has. Uh, let uh, the dwarf could give it a shot. Athelstane just lying there, bleeding out in the in the straw <laughs> while you guys are making journeys. I've got oh, pressure applied to it. So, uh, I have a tw- uh, Madoc has a twenty. Does any is anyone a better healer than that? I got a five. I just I got a zero. Twenty five. Twenty five. Why don't you roll and I'll assist? Okay. Here's my assist roll. Hmm, partial success plus, plus 10. ten. Now you can have up to how many people helping? Everyone. Yeah. Gandril can chip in if he wants. I'll try to like make sure I'm holding my arm steady. <laughs> you're, you're trying to guide them. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm, to hold it. I'm just shaking because yeah. I'm bleeding now. <laughs> Gandril, you wanna you wanna jump in here too and try to help? Oh, I think he he rail, rolled first, right? I just Oh did. he did. Plus ten. Okay, so you've got okay. a plus twenty. Which means I'll roll a failure. Right. You already have a plus twenty five, so you have plus fifty five. Oh, right? Does it hurt right here? Yeah. Success. There we go. Morinine bends down, apply some bandages, and you feel much so, better. The bleeding has stopped. So, how much total do you think I have lost? The initial wound was ten. You've lost. Wow. Uh, you've lost. I'd say an an additional, like since we left. Twenty more. Yeah. <laughs> right no you've lost yeah another another uh, 15 you're not dead are you i've got 70 total oh you're oh, fine just a scratch. I was gonna say the, the mercenaries had 60 hit points so i was hoping you had more than them i dream of 60 hit points 
We'll give him a we'll give him a uh, orange juice. <laughs> All right, so you're you're bandaged up. You've got a little gurney made for uh for Nevin. You don't want to leave him here. You want to continue on into the night and carry him along. Yes. All right. Well, so we found him. I don't want to go. let him go. Where do you want to go from here? Let's take a look. Let's go to the mound. To the mound. The mound. Yeah. Where the Thane is. So you, right? Yeah, so you guys pass... Well, I'm assuming that you make your way around the town of Willow Lake. You don't want to get close to it or anything. But you see that there's lights emanating from there, like fire. And you can hear there's a whole bunch of activity going on. like Not like burning buildings, but torches have been lit. And there's activity going on in the town. And voices are carrying and sounds like they are definitely searching for somebody at this point uh as there's quite a panic coming from willow lake and you make your way southbound as you pass willow lake and you start heading southwards towards the mound all of a sudden the wind picks up and the air gets really cold which is weird because it was a bright beautiful warm evening tonight and a terrible storm breaks in. Lightning starts cracking across the sky. Thunder booming. Almost out of nowhere. And it looks like it is emanating and centralized somewhere to the south. In the direction you're heading. You guys continue heading on southward for quite some time. It takes you a good, oh, 30 40 minutes to to uh get closer to the mound as you get close to the mound the wind is stronger and stronger as you get close to it but you guys get within your sights of it and you see the mound and uh it is an old you guys never went there the original venture did you you guys never it was no. on the map but you never made your way there no okay so, um, there's a steep barren hill leading up the top of this mound. Uh, it's topped by an ancient circle of standing stones. And you can hear shouting coming from up there. You see lightning striking the ground in and around the actual stones themselves. And, um... You think you, you've probably found Wolfric at this point. So you're at the base of this hill that leads up to these standing stones. What do you want to do at this point? There's a rocky path leading leading to the top. Say it what? like winds around. Pull out my up. bow. Yeah. Okay. Pull out my axe and start heading up the hill. Just You're just going to charge up there? You're just drawing your weapons? We him... We need to put Nevin someplace safe. We can't take him up there. Yeah. <laughs> Nevin needs to be stashed. Oh. Leave him with a hard biscuit and throw him in a bush. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Terrible, terrible people. So you're just going to charge up there, huh? I mean, our sneaky guy is uh, visiting his cousin. Do you do you want to stealth up, or you don't care? You're just going up there to. Uh, I, I'm I'm going to try and him. stealth up, but yeah, you know, we'll be the, quiet. I mean, the more we, the we less. We don't stealth. need to be. Uh, yeah, we'll be. Now, how far up is it? We can try and stealth. You can try and stealth. So it's everybody to... but me can try and stealth. Well, it's, it's 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 really loud, right? Thunder and there is wind. thunder and booming. So I was going to give you guys some some modifiers to your rolls. Uh, they're actually going to help you in this regard because there is lightning striking and thunder booming in the sky and the wind yeah. is howling. Uh, so you are going to get a bonus to this roll. <coughs> um, it's a good oh 150 200 feet up this steep steep um winding cool. path so you guys can make a stealth roll and it'll be at a plus 30 oh i didn't add my 30 success. how do you how do you modify it? success at the top of the character sheet i'm just using the, the help plus 30 yeah um, can i uh, also roll to try and help some of our other less stealthy people no <laughs> Worth I'll a just, shot. Man, I'm gonna I'll just jump keep... into the shadows, and then tell them to follow me. Success. I just keep my uh, success. I don't need to add the thirty. So more starting nine. out with my negative five. 
More nine is a partial success. All right. Well, I mean, I only have a five, so don't feel bad. (laughs) And what are you doing with Nevin? Going to leave him in the um, protected shelter. What protected the, shelter? The safest looking the bush outcropping or bush we can find. Yeah, put him under a tree in a storm. That's great. <laughs> put him in a ditch cool. where, where he'll drown. I don't. Uh, Whatever the closest looking, securest thing it we looks think. Like, um, there was, it looks like there was a, a rock slide that took place here at one point. So there are some rocks and boulders that are clumped together. You can stash Perfect. him over there. <laughs> Perfect. We'll put him under a rock. <laughs> Roll some rocks aside and kind of put him in there and then wedge them back around him. This old, <clears throat> old man wizard wakes Safe up. Safe as houses. Sorry, what Nevin. What the hell's going on? Yeah, are, are, you call yourself friends? All right, so you guys... Throw some hardtack on him and leave. Trudging up this hill and the wind is getting heavier and heavier. And like I said, there's lightning striking... Uh, the stones, the standing stones at the top of this mound. You can hear a voice shouting incantations. And as you round your way up the mound and the path gets to the crest, you see Wolfric standing there in the center. There's like an altar in the center as well. And he's chanting, he's holding this amulet. And he's casting some sort of ritual. And uh, he's he's deep in the middle of it. He doesn't even notice you. Do you think you can put him to sleep and I can put an arrow in his head? I'm saying that to Mornine, not to uh, (laughs) our resident axe wielder. He might be more powerful than my spell is able to accomplish. (laughs) Maydock is getting his axe ready and he's going to uh, he's going to take a a swing at his head. So you you want to charge in there. Okay. I'm getting ready to charge, but I look at the people with bows, and I'm waiting for them to loose, <laughs> and then I'm going to charge after. Is uh, is there anybody um, backing him up, or is it just him by himself? He's solo. All right. Well, we're going to have to try and cut him in half. As they charge, I'm going to loose my first arrow at him. Well, wait. That'll break our surprise, won't it? That's why we're waiting for you to shoot, and then I'm going to charge. Well, I want to uh, attack from behind surprisingly. <laughs> That's what you're doing. As soon as you shoot, I'm going to charge. Well, I'm not shooting. I'm swinging. He wants to run in there and swing. But the the arrows will get there before we will. Not if we hold the arrows until we get there. (laughs) I can just see you guys sitting there arguing. (laughs) Well, I'm just trying to picture how far away is he from where we're at? He is a good, oh, what's your movement? Let me ask you that. Actually, here, let's do this. Ah, tactical. Oh, you weren't supposed to see some of that stuff on there. Oh, well. Womp, 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 ba dum bum. Uh, uh, mine's not filled out, so I have no idea. It just says zero. You can't see anything? It says movement, move rate, zero. Oh. Yeah, movement's kind of, I don't know that I ever got really that far in the seat. I believe it's base for Let's everyone. Let's get tumbled over there. Based on... Uh... You're like here. You're at the very edge of my map that I made. He's in the middle casting. There's the five standing stones. How many stones are there? Six. (laughs) As as you ask that, I count. I see six. Six. One, two, three. (laughs) We won't uh we won't prepare for those weird ghost things that were Yeah, yeah, here, what are right? you talking about? <laughs> so, well, the you're, dwarf you're that see far that, away. So. You he's, he's he's casting. Okay, so what's our movement? Uh do you have your character sheets or the, the not... pre-made that I sent you or that we had previously? Yeah. You have to look on there. The pretty I'll look in the book. Hang on. I've got the quick start. Um, what am I going to do? Oh, I want to roll some. Movement rate, is, uh, I, movement rate is filled out. It's on the front page, bottom right, under encumbrance. Uh, yeah, mine's 15. Uh, mine's 15 as well. Oh, yeah, mine says zero. Yeah, mine says zero as well. But it's probably 15. And I think that's meters. They use metric here? Yeah. They're wow. Italians. Yeah, they're European. Come on now. 
Dark Master is European? Yep. <laughs> the fellas behind the game? <laughs> Those guys with the accents? Yeah, don't you remember Nick was in here last no, week? No, I know. Us? I'm trying to be... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... I just rolled his perception and he failed. That's what I was rolling, if you're wondering. Because Mornine had a partial success, so he was, there's the opportunity for him to notice you. He didn't want to notice us. No, he's too busy, you know, opening portals to allow the Dark Master's army through. All characters have a basic move rate of 15. Measuring that, they can move up to 15 meters at a walking pace for up to 30 meters when sprinting. So how, how uh, Each many... Each round. Each square is a meter? Sure, yeah. Each square is a meter. So you could make you could charge at him this round. <clears throat> or is it five would it make more sense if they're five meters? Nope. Like five. Oh. Each one will be a meter. Okay. Right. So let's time it to where the arrows hit him just as we're swinging our axes. Okay. It's no, no. Okay. <laughs> no. It's it all happens in its own phases. You can't just talk. talk How many? Back. How many arrows do you think there are? I think there's one arrow. I think it was yeah, a arrow, an arrow. Yeah. Um. So, who's doing what? Who's who's starting off? Does does do you guys want to charge in there and try and get a surprise? Yeah, me and the dwarf look at each other, ready our axes, and we charge. You're stealth, stealth charging. So you're no. skul you're skulking, or you're just like ah. No, it's a, ah, no well, battle I cry, just a, a hard run. We have to stop right, well, then you're not stealth anymore if you're running up. <laughs> that is not even a roll. You stealthed your way up the mound, but if you're just running in there, then whether you're you're yelling or not, he's going to notice you. So, oh. okay, let's enter combat then, shall we? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> Let's get uh, all of all you all on this turn tracker again, because we're on a new map. The thing's kind of a good looking guy. Yeah, it was just a generic token that I threw on there for a full frick. He's he's a, kind of dashing, isn't he? Yes. He's a dapper Dan man. Dapper Dan man. All right, let's look <laughs> at the stream. Can you everybody see it? Yeah, everybody. See like the rest on. of us are all black and white and grungy looking and oh i, see, I, I, see, I prefer the black and white art yeah over... oh, me too all right so combat uh nice, perce perception nice rolls. map by the way did you make this i did make it yeah i made it very really quickly in uh dungeon painter <laughs> studio so well thank those you. are nice yeah. phallic shaped stones you found they are very <laughs> phallic i thought the same thing i was like oh these are really oh i see they're supposed to be five right five stones We'll uh we'll save we'll save that for for after the uh, cameras. So. Yes. All right. So let's get in. Well, you guys already did the move phase. Uh, <laughs> that happened. What's your action declaration? So what does everybody want to do? What's the action you want to do? That comes first. Axe um, and sword into shoot. his face and shoot. Yeah. Uh, smash with my yeah. axe. More nine. What do you want to do? Well, really, the only thing I can do is run up towards him. I guess. Uh, so then that was the movement I don't know, phase. So go ahead and run up there, more nine. I would have been like previously. Spell phase A. It was taking place. Nobody's casting one of those. I, I'm I'm actually going to okay. cast a spell, but I don't you think don't, I can. I can't. It's not an instant spell, so it'll. You don't have to be cheek to jowl if you're casting spells. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that kind of spell? Number one, <laughs> we're first level still. I haven't gotten any any more spells on my first weave. Oh, and mind control is pretty much my only range spell or sleep. Oh, okay. And my other damage spell is going to be touch. Um, so he Where I can catch him on fire. He lets off a spell this round, and he calls to the ancient guardians of the mound to come assist him. Oh, you mean those ghost things that were on the map before? You never saw those. Suddenly, these ghosts start wailing and whirling out of the uh, the standing stones on top of the uh, the mound. Let's get Wait, that. doesn't his spell take a round or a full round action like we? Well, you like we don't do? know much about Wolfric. Wolfric, uh, like Mornine said, he might be 
He might be a higher level spellcaster than her. And doesn't have to follow the same rules we do either. <clears throat> yeah, well, maybe it's not a spell. Maybe he might have an artifact. I mean, yeah, you never know. So all of a sudden, these ghosts appear. They start whirling about <laughs> and they start flying about the area. And he shouts them, "Say it, protect me! They must not stop the ritual." And they start. They, they're passing through the stones and swirling about in the sky they're incorporeal so they're passing through things uh and lightning starts cracking down randomly about this area all of a sudden before it had a purpose it was hitting the standing stones it is now just striking the ground anywhere and everywhere getting close to you guys at times we hear a yelp from below <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is good. Okay. Um... <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, how many of there are you? Four? Uh, so, Mornine is one, Madoc is two, Applestain is three, and uh, Gandril is four. Gandril, you're standing there with your bow drawn and a Bolt of lightning comes down towards you. Let's roll to see if it hits. It might not hit you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys just charged on in there. It's great. Uh, what's your armor? Rubber. Because <laughs> <laughs> your parry, uh, or no, your yeah, your armor. Uh, so I need your your defense. I'm sorry. What's your defense? Where is that quick? On your character sheet. But uh, bottom, like where all your skills are listed, if you look to the right, it has uh, wealth, movement, defense, armor, and save. Uh, There's also I'm a... apparently wearing chain. <laughs> all right, so what's your defense? That's unfortunate. Let's put that there. My defense is not filled out. It says zero. <laughs> yeah, I don't, defense never got completed on this character screen. Uh, please tell me you guys have the um, the pre gens that I, that we use. I do, but I don't have them open. I'm getting to them. Okay. All right. Un momento, por favor, for the folks watching. Please bear with us. Let's just say 150. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> just call it that. Oh, I want to hit you with a bolt of lightning. Make it low. And this is... Andrel? Gandrel Andrel, Windblade, yeah. Defense of 30. Okay, thank you. From your swiftness. So I'm just going to, because I'm using the dice roller, I'm just going to minus that off of the plus that I'm putting on there because I have a plus to my roll. So it's just going to negate part of that plus. That makes it easier. Oh, and this is a, I got to roll in the spell table. Ooh, I guess. Lightning. 77. I don't think it's going to hit you. But let's look at the chart. 77. in a different place open another book <laughs> Stumbled. lightning bolt which is I think at the end of quick start yeah in two two point I'm in 2.1 yeah yeah it's on there uh, bolt spells right yeah 77 on chain is medium and it does double All damage right. to me to metal armor. I'm reading, inflicts double yeah. damage, double base damage against metal armors. I'm reading it as a three. Uh, so seventy-seven chain. Yeah, so six damage on you. Or is that new? Do you think that's taking? Or effect? is chain heavy? Oh, let's look at chain mail. I'm going back up to the uh, armor. Is it medium or heavy chainmail? 
let me scroll back up. I know it's not that far away from here. Chain mail is chain. Uh, I don't medium. See. Okay, medium. Yeah, medium covers torso, arm, and legs. That's plus 20 to swiftness, or max swiftness to defense of 20. So, does that hurt you? It's a defense of 20 or 30? Well, I think you get your, uh, My I think you get the armor changes, plus okay. your swiftness, yeah. So you're th three points of damage? It's interesting. I don't know if it's taken into account on there that it's double damage, because you are rolling on there, and you roll based off type. No, yeah, it, the asterisk is you have to double <clears throat> the actual roll, because it doesn't take effect on all armors that way. So six, six damage? That's what I read it as. All right, so all of a sudden, a bolt of lightning strikes close. And you guys look back, and uh, and Gandril has been hit by a bolt of lightning. Tis but a scratch. For six points of damage. All right, where were we? Let's get back to the action. Shall we? Uh, so we did the action declaration phase. We did the movement phase. Spell phase A. He's got some spells here. Let's see what he's casting on you guys. Didn't he just summon the uh, critters? No, they're part of this. They're part. They're part of the stones. They're guardians of the mound. That wasn't a spell. Unnatural ability. You guys, you guys charge in there against a very strong enemy. Going out in a blaze of glory. We're heroes. Yeah, you're heroes. That's it. <clears throat> we're not smart, but we're heroes. Hero. We're, <laughs> we're heroes. playing like tonight's the last session. Tonight, tonight will be the last session. Whether you survive or not, this will be the last session. Um, just looking for one spell here. Bear with me. Changed my name to Madoc the Dead. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, we need some new pregens for the third part of this. There's a third part. Some point. Okay, cool. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let me cast uh, something here. He's he's casting a spell. Obviously, spells only cast an action, so like theoretically, you can cast them that round. Yep. 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 <laughs> Or you can fast cast so it happens faster than. Or you can prepare so you get more bonuses. So for his movement, I'm sorry, I didn't program his movement. He's moving away. From... Hold on, can't we? We can't attack him before he moves. No, because you pre-program it. He moved really? away as you charged in. Remember, that's how it, it's all pre-programmed the way well, it works. A, that's a broken mechanic, though, kind of, because then you could you, never, ever hit somebody because it could always just move away. Well, you move at the same time. But next turn, if I choose to move to, to go after him, he just moves away again in perpetuity. And cue the Benny Hill music. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> right? That's, that's a broken mechanic. I think right. that's why they have the move to engage action, right? Well, isn't that what we did? I, I'm not sure. I don't know what you did either. I mean, do I need to put a ring on his finger? What what what, what is an yeah, engagement it, process? The, uh, he saw there. you guys coming in, and he moved back. Uh, okay, and he's casting a spell while he's running away. Uh, you move, and then you your spells go off. Okay. So. I agree, Mike. Fishy. Uh, just <laughs> feels very a broken. fishy, right? All right, so he moves away, and he's chanting something to himself, and he disappears. Boop. He disappears. From sight. Um, so, now let's jump to the next phase, which is the range day phase. Gandrel. Gan Gandrel, you're just going to fire... You got, you got ghosts I mean, rolling around. You can fire I was going at. to fire an arrow at... What's his, what's his face? His yeah, so now now disappeared. Who's now disappeared, so... We go to melee just phase. Loose then? my arrow randomly at, you know... 
the middle of the area with my three feet. people. Uh, Everybody roll dodge. Yeah, right? So then we go to the melee phase, and you're... He's he's disappeared. Uh, who you programmed in? You're gonna go hit. So basically, we're at a we're at a new round at this point, essentially, because everybody's actions don't go off, and the ghosts weren't there in time to program in their actions. So the storm is still going off, and lightning is still striking all around you, and you now have these ghosts swirling about, and Wolfric has just disappeared before your eyes. Is there some sort of altar or anything? Yeah, there's like an altar in the middle of this thing. The ghosts are not attacking us? Not yet. Okay, I'm going to try to break this altar then. Okay. Does Madoc know anything about ghosts? I don't know, does he? Don't cross the stream. <laughs> Do I... Uh, said they were... Would that be a role for him? Ethereal? To know they anything about ethereal. them? They are ethereal, yeah. Yeah, they are. Would yeah. would that be a roll a skill roll? You can you can roll. Um Adventure. Lore. We'll do lore and we'll do um Arcana. Or you can okay. do uh, even nature. Nature would work. You've encountered right. ghosts or heard about ghosts and adventuring. I'd do either or. Whatever you have better stats in. Everybody can roll for ghosts if you want. Do you want me to uh modify it at all? No. Nope, it'll be straight up. Okay. Where is the modifier done? Should be at the top of your character sheet. Anybody can roll. Adventure or... Uh, right underneath the Dark Master title image, there's a roll modifiers button. Oh, there it is. You click that and it'll open up the... Got it. So we'll see what we're at here. If I'm at any modifier. Okay. All right, so it's standard. Yeah, you, you know, you've you've been out and about. You've adventured in your time, Madoc. You're you're an old soldier. You know that um, ghosts typically can't be hurt by anything other than magic. And uh, when you do slay a ghost, quote unquote, they they truly are never slain, and they typically come back after a certain amount of time. And uh, what kind of effects do they have on people? Oh, on people? Yeah, you passed. I'll, Dwarves, I'll specifically. You know that th there is tale of them being able to drain the very life out of the living. Okay. Well, now that I... Uh, Madoc's going to run. Okay. <laughs> so, ba mechanically, they can permanently drain your hit points. Okay. Well, Madoc's going <laughs> to run, which is, pre is a pretty foolproof proof way to avoid combat, so... He's GTFO? running. GTFO? Like, yep. like uh, Oak said, uh, cue the Benny Hill music. Yeah. All Just right. Double, double moving off the hill. Yeah. <laughs> sprint. You're going to sprint. Just you're, you're getting out of there. Yep. Okay. Are others sprinting? I was trying I to am. break that altar. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm running you away. You can stay at the altar then. I have no way of damaging these things. I'm running away. You are, uh, you are literally being left at the altar. Yep. <laughs> all right <laughs> um, all right so you guys are running he's staying at the altar to try and smash it d4 we're rolling again for lightning strike every round madoc you're my two yes i said all right let's roll to see if, what's your defense buddy <clears throat> uh i have a uh 35 defense That's with his shield. He's in soft. Three. Let's go. Oh, the chart. He's in. He's in soft leather, though. Okay. All right. Light so you're leather. not as conductive. You're not going to take double damage. Yeah. Where's my chart here? Quick start guide. Two point one. I was busy looking at the spells for what Wolfric had listed. Uh, do you still have it there, Handy Wes? Oh yeah, I can get there. So, uh, no two parties Bolt. sneak up on everything in the future. Bolts, yeah. <laughs> Bolt spells. Uh, that's One, what you're two, looking at? 120-something? 120 123. Ooh. 
uh, on light armor is 12, 12 plus damage. a light crit. 12 damage and a light crit, huh? Now, I have... Um, do I get a save or anything? Because I have, like, special stuff for... No. Okay. Your defense... Well, your defense was, like... What was going to help you? Well, there's a um, the RR thing, the resistance. I didn't know if... Uh... Isn't there a resistance you do against these things? Uh, no, not all spells have saves. Nope. Both it's spells not, are just like actual it's, attacks. It's it's this is not a spell, Mike. It's like it's actual lightning that is coming down from the sky and hitting you. Got You're, it. We're just using the the rolls and the modifiers and the tables for lightning bolt, but spell. But this is actual like lightning coming down from the sky. No, no, no worries. Straight. The dwarf has special resistances to certain things, so that's why. Uh, I'm just so asking. what's the bonus to this? I'm just. On the chart Plus here. 10 for a light, I believe. Plus 10? All right. One oh three. Where is it? Here. Uh, What's that? I don't know that they have lightning criticals. I don't know what you're... I don't think they do either. A, if you have a secondary, I don't know. I would probably just... Uh, oh, first crit, lightning, second crit, impact. I see. Since they don't have the table print published for lightning. All right, so take 12 damage. We'll okay. leave it at that. All right. And and, uh, rubber armor came in handy. He lights up, and his hair goes crazy. Now he's really <laughs> afraid. His, his, his hair is all sticking out straight like uh, a mad professor. I thought it was always like that. Now, now it's really messed up. <laughs> uh, yeah, focused on living. That's right. Uh, so let's go to... So the ghosts are going to attack you, asshole stain. So we need to go back to turn over here. You're staying. They're all going to move towards you. That's their movement. <laughs> Uh, and their action is they're going to attack you. And your action is to try and smash that altar? Yep. Alright, so we're in melee phase. They... What do you have? What kind of weapon? Long? Longest? Short? Uh, and... Long... Yep, long. For them, because I believe Man there's... Ass. Let me go to the stats. So I think there's going to be hand. Let's see, huh? Shortest... <laughs> it doesn't say, but I'm going to say it's hand because they're using their hands to kind of reach out and touch you to just suck the life out of you. Uh, so you're going to go first um, because of your weapon type. So just go ahead and roll. Let's see, you get a crit. 125 cut, edged. And bring yep. your. Sword you, down. Hey, I can you want to use your drive point? Uh, or yeah, drive to make that a, a, an extra hundred or whatever. Or? You spend five drive to make it a hundred. Okay, I only have three. Okay. And so would bring... I spend them for to boost this in in some way? No, nope. unfortunately, you can't. So one twenty-five. I don't even know what the armor on this thing is. You bring your you bring your great axe down. You cause a crack in this thing uh, across the surface of it, uh, but it does not seem to affect the ghosts. The ghosts are still there surrounding you. Okay. And the wind is still gusting, and the lightning is still dropping. There's uh, what's no your... effect other than a crack happens. I don't yeah. notice anything. Correct. Okay. What is your defense, Athelstain? Twenty four. Oh yeah, you had, yours was on there because we did this last week. Yep, twenty four in plate. All right, so let's see these ghosts. Do they get any bonuses to their to their hit? It's not looking like it. Plus CMB. 
Minus that. What's this CMB? I don't see any program on there. You have a 24? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. 24 or subtracting 24? Oh, subtracting 24. <laughs> oh. Adding there's 24, no right? Yeah, there's no, way, there's no way to, to subtract 24. Well, oh. On okay. the dice roller. But is 24 his defense? Yeah, there's so you have to take it off of your roll. Yeah, so just... Ah. I like these better. So one hits you. That 93, even with the minus 24, is going to get you. Uh, so they're all swirling around you and through you and passing through and wailing and moaning and whispering in some unforgotten language in your ear as they do so. Uh, now is when you get to pass. Oh, so they don't even roll to attack you. You have to pass a TSR. Or suffer 1d10 plus 1 soul damage. So you gotta make 10 TSR rolls. That's one of those, like, RRs and whatever you saw on the bottom of your character sheet. Resistance ah. rolls. That's mm -hmm. when it comes up. <laughs> so what TSR. Is Where is that on the character sheet here, Wes? Toughness save? Toughness saving roll, yeah. I say a toughness and a will save. That's so it. Toughness. Tactical simulated gaming? <laughs> <laughs> Now, whether or not those buttons actually work, I can't remember. If they even are buttons. Like that. Ooh, look at you. I'm wondering whether this one is a success. It doesn't say whether it's a success or failure, does it? Uh, no, because, I mean, you don't know what the target number is. Okay. Okay, sounds good. I've got a target number here. You're good? Okay, you got to do it six times. I got... I got it here. So five more? Yeah. Yes, please. Do we get to know what the target number is? Ooh. He passed Rubber. every time. He's fine. He's fine. He didn't have any critical failures or anything. You're good. So these things no. pass through you and you just you just stand there and you take it. You you stand up to this this abuse, this damage, the terror. You're 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 like super, super cold. The temperature has dropped significantly around you. You feel you're shivering, but you're you're holding up, Athelstane. Okay. <clears throat> Who's, what turn is it? Uh, let's see here. Sorry, I had to close my audio and reopen it because it was going all robotic on my end. So, it's going to be a new turn order because there's nothing else that happens right now. We're back to the top of the turn order. Movement phase. Or action declaration. Action. What do you want to do for your action? Do you want to attack something? Do you want to hit something? I'm tearing this altar down. You're just... No, no, no. Now, okay, hang on. Does this altar look profane or is it just like... it's just No, it's, like... no, it's just an old altar that's been here since whenever this thing was built. Generation. Uh, the long forgotten that... time. Like some sort of chat. What it like? What's that song and tail? Just didn't... If I know anything of these type of setups, were they all for evil purposes? Go for it. Make me. This will be your assessment round. You can go ahead and make a roll to see if you know if there's anything dark what or I use? profane about this. What do I use? Song. Well, let's look song at and tail or what? Yeah, song and tail. <laughs> uh, you've heard tail. Of some altars that would have had uh, been used for hideous, nefarious things, uh, but you can't tell if this is one of them. Then I'm 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 gonna destroy it. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's your action. Uh, you're not moving further away. Nope. The rest of you, you're gonna continue uh, to retreat. No, Madoc is. But once he gets out of line of sight, he's gonna sneak back up the hill. Okay. And he's going to stay in the shadows until he sees um, the Thane, and then he's going to sneak up on the Thane and stick him with the axe. The Thane is no longer there. Well, he might Thane, come back. The Thane disappeared. All right, so you're just going to sit in the shadows? You're I'm hiding gonna, out on the edge? I'm okay. gonna yeah, I'm going to climb up and see how this whole thing goes. Uh, Mornine and um, Gandril, what do you what do you want to do? 
I failed my what is a ghost roll, so I'm going to try and shoot a ghost. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to move? You're, you're just kind of at the base. You're not running. Yeah, I'll, I'll move a little bit closer and... to the edge of the uh, thing. Sure. Okay. So, so I'll, uh, give, shot I'll give Scandrel moral, moral support. <laughs> okay. So Matt, you would, would would Maydock know anything about how to like disrupt the ghost from the, these stones or anything like that? Uh, you passed your roll. Um, no, you know general information about ghosts. You don't. You're not aware. Like you know that they're tied to places, but you don't know if like destroying something will make them go away. Well, not that I can destroy these big uh, stones. Giant but... standing stones. Ancient have been there for centuries. Yeah. So okay, they look a little top heavy, but let me dig out the base a little bit. Do we have a book about something? You do. Ooh. Tobald and Athelstane. Well, Athelstane's the one who read it, went through it. Yeah. Tobold carrying it, though. Yeah, Tobold handed then, Yeah, then took it back. So we don't have the book. <laughs> Theoretically, no. Technically, yeah, no, no. No, you don't have the book on you. Yes, but no. Where do we uh, leave the book? Tobold has it. Wherever the hell Tobold is, he's staying at his niece's. I'm house. like, I can't think of anything else. I mean, maybe the book has the answer, but I don't know where the book is. But the book's with the party but, member. That I mean, really, I don't even know that there is a book. Right? I would assume there isn't an answer. Or the GM's a real dick for like, yeah, the answer's in it, but y'all can't access it. So. Well, yeah, because because <laughs> the three of us standing down here, not up there by the ghost, never even saw the book because Tobol came out without showing it and then gave, showed it the answer same when we already went inside. All the book did. I'll give you a recap. What happened? The book. The book um, recapped. Here it is. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where's the write up on the book? I'll, I'll refresh Athelstane's memory. The Stone of Anwin, also known as the Tear of Anwin, or the Elven Stone of Blathild Maid, I gotta zoom in to read this, uh, is a relic of a forgotten age, a talisman of incredible power. It appears as perfectly round jewel the size of a human fist, always uncomfortably cold to the touch. The legend says it's the frozen tear of the true lord of Anwin, the only tear known to have ever left his eye. Cried when he heard Queen Blathmaid, Blathmaid, Blathmaid's lament for the passing of her mortal beloved. The stone is rumored to possess a multitude of powers, from granting eternal youth to prosperity to bringing the undead back to life. In truth, however, the stone is a, a, a key to Anwin, the realm between the mortal world and the land of the dead. It allows its wielder to open a gate and travel through this timeless realm, disappearing without leaving a trace or covering even hundreds of kilometers in the mortal world in the blink of an eye. The more skilled and powerful the wielder is, the larger the gate created by the stone, the longer the permanence in the Anwin, and the more they can carry with them. The initiate of mystical arts can use the stone to vanish for a short time, while a master enchanter could take a whole contingent of soldiers with them and deploy them right in the middle of the enemy kingdom. The book was full of his notes uh, he was making as he was researching the stone and such. Uh, what else was scrawled on a bookmark? The time is near. Soon you'll be reached by the first servants of our master. I'll be right behind them with the rest of our forces. Have the stone ready for my arrival. Don't fail me. Oh, sorry, you didn't read that. That was that's what was written in dark speech. Forget that. You didn't know that. <laughs> that what was scrawled in the bookmark know. that you guys couldn't uh, comprehend last time. So there you go. There's a recap of the this the jewel, the stone, the amulet, the tear, which made this dude disappear. So I was like, hey, he. Why doesn't he follow the same rules as us? Why doesn't he have spells slots A and B and slow and fast and need around to cast? He has the stone. He has a stone around his neck. It didn't say anything about ghosts. You know that ghosts are also uh, can be tied to a place. They can be. Well, I mean, they're undead. They are undead. They. They didn't follow any of you down the hill. Hint, hint. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I have to stay. I 
I've already made my course of action. <laughs> I've already I've made my decision. All right. Maybe maybe when he hits the the altar again, it'll bring some recognition to what's happening. Yeah, maybe. Reading of the book. Sure. Better yeah, it'll yeah, crack. Maybe. I'll be done, and I can leave. Sure. <laughs> uh. Oh, Athelstein the stubborn. Awesome. All I know is this has seemed to me this is an evil altar. He was up here doing something and needs to be destroyed. All right, so range phase day is going to go next. So loosen your uh, your arrow there, Gandril. Go ahead and shoot. I mean, does it even matter? It's not hitting anything. No, it's not going to matter. It's going to pass right through them if you hit them. So, yeah, I, I miss. Roll, well, you might roll. hit Applestein. <laughs> yeah, Applestein. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, that's your new name is Apple Stain. Well, what is his name? Apple his name. Stain. Not what? Apple, like A P P I. Oh, Apple Stain. Okay. <laughs> All right, you bring your. Uh, oh, that's your bow. Yeah, it goes. It pa- you you loosen this uh, arrow, whizzes through the sky, and it uh, passes right through a ghost. Oh, that reminds me that we got to cast for the lightning. Uh, where are you, Mornine? Are you still up there? Or did you run away? Uh, I'm down here beside Gandrel on the hill. Gandrel? Oh, you're not with Nevin or anything? Because Gandrel kind of made his way back up so he could fire an arrow. Oh. Yeah. No, I'll go to I'll go down to Home Slice. Home, home Slice? <laughs> Athelstane, you're one. Uh, my my you're master. Two, and yeah, uh, Gandrel, can... you're three for getting hit by lightning. <laughs> Nevin, I'm going to wake his ass up. All right, two. Madoc, you're hit by lightning again. Let's roll... Uh, nope, that's a seven. It does not hit you, no matter what your pluses or minuses are. You're good. Lightning strikes right next to you. In the ground, there's, like, smoke coming up off of it. You're like, oh, this is, this is a terrible place. We should get out of here. Well, good, I'm safe. It'll never strike twice in the same Despite, spot. Yeah, right? <laughs> Despite all these warning signs, we just keep going back up here. Uh, melee phase. So, go ahead and roll... For me, Athelstain the Black to smack the altar, or, or Apple Stain. Yeah, again, you bring down your axe on the altar, and again, nice it, you hit the same spot, and the crack widens, and this thing splits, and this altar splits in two, and the ghosts are still swirling about you, whispering in your ear, in some unknown ancient tongue. <sighs> Atu, Barada. Nick too. Uh, Madoc, what did you want to do? You want to start striking these standing stones? No, no. He's looking for... Um, he, he just wants to make sure that uh, if the Thane comes back, he's going to sneak up and, and strike him. Oh, right. You're waiting for the Thane. Uh, so go ahead and make me six of those saves again, Athel Thane. <laughs> Let's see if you... Uh... Oh, alright. So tough. No, well, one of them's going to I say that down. first one wouldn't. Yeah, one of them gets That's my plus 25. So you lose 1d10 plus 1 soul damage. Soul, brother. Nine points of soul damage. So what it says here is you suffer soul damage. It permanently reduces the total number of hit points unless cured with powerful, quote-unquote, powerful spells or special herbs. Okay. I'm putting it under So you've just nine, had so. the life sucked out of you. You've lost like 10 years off your life. And you're you're even colder. You're trembling on the spot right now. You're holding your axe. You look very heroic, but you're like shivering and shaking on the spot. Does his hair go white? Uh, Sure. You get a white streak in your hair. Athelstan the white black. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, There's nothing else going on in any of the other phases. Nobody else was doing anything else. So we're going to be back at the top of the turn order. So program in your actions and program in your movement. GTFO. All right. Everybody oh. else doing the same? Yep. When he runs, I run. Okay. You run. Uh, the lightning is still striking down around the mound, the top of the mound. The ghosts are still swirling about, and there's no sign of Wolf Rick. You do. I will tell you this. You don't need to roll for that. You did interrupt his ritual. He was in the middle of casting something, and you guys did succeed in interrupting whatever he was trying to pull off there atop this uh, this mound tonight. Oh no, the Dark Master's gonna be mad. So you're saying we've made friends? Yeah, yeah. And, and influence people. 
<laughs> how to make friends and influence people. I love it. Uh, we'll put you back over there. And we'll switch over the overlay back to us. So, yes, you've interrupted Wolfric and whatever he was doing. The ghosts are still swirling about atop the mound. It is, so oh, like 2.30 in the morning at this point. The uh, After some time, the, the storm is starting to let up. And you're left there on the mound. What do you want to do at this point? Where's the next nearest city that we don't think is run by the Dark Master? Uh, you've got the Dwarven City to the north. You've got the Elven City, pardon me, to the west. I say uh, Dwarven City to the north. That's Willow Lake. Let me take you back. I to say the... Elven City to the west. Of course you do. <laughs> the Dwarven Ruins, well, there's Dwarven Ruins to the north. Uh, so there might be some dwarves milling about there. It's not really a city. So the Elven Forest to the west would be closest for finding like the next biggest city or town. But uh, your there might be some of your kin, um, to the north in those ruins. Made <laughs> These wardens say, "Get the heck out of town, people." Uh, yeah, you're the you're the wardens of Willow Lake. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah. Um. Do we want to wait till morning and then try and take apart the standing stones? <laughs> I don't think that's going to do anything. Do you want to um? How long is it going to take for the ghost to go away? They'll probably go away when we leave. Yeah, they'll, they, you guys are down the mound. You're kind of discussing what's going on, and they, they, they disappear. Well, I'm a dwarf. What would it take to get those stones down? A lot. Think about, like, Stonehenge. These things are massive. They're huge. They're heavy. Ancient. Yep. Dug into the you ground. don't know how deep they are in the ground. The stones are old and strong, like bones in the earth. It would take a mighty doing to bring them low. And we, we realized that we interrupted something. You do. That's what I'm saying. You don't even have to roll for that. You stop. He was in the middle of a ritual doing something, and he disappeared and ran off. Uh, so he did not complete whatever he was. Yeah attempting to do whoever is leading the army from the north is not going to be pleased by our actions um which it's direction too... is the uh elven forest from here to the west which Sh direction it's on is that the... it's on that page that i dropped you guys on and the dwarven ruins are to the north due north okay, just so north of the lake we probably don't want to go to the dwarven ruins because they're in the direction of the army coming from the north probably not okay Good. or you could you could build a front line yeah. Did you see it's us just run down the hill? <laughs> don't know where the uh, the gate right into the Thane's chambers actually how we could get into it because we never went down that pathway. Well, we could track. We could well, we could try and track. Uh, see if there's a. He probably goes back and forth. We might be able to follow a path. We so around in this area somewhere, right? Yeah. Generally, it would be blood because it's dark. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I can see in the dark. He can see in the dark. Yeah. Okay. So Madoc will try and see if he can pick up a trail leading north. Um, yeah. Make make me perception rolls, everybody, if you're poking around. Any difficulty or just no. standard? No standard. Anybody want to help, Madoc or? Uh, critical failure. It's whatever. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I just got attacked by ghosts. I'm freaked out. Yeah, Ethelstein's like, it's back at the top of the, the hill. So Gandril agrees. Yeah, let's go back up there, guys. Let's go mess wow. those stones. Uh, oh, Mornite's poking around, and she finds a uh, a hidden passage leading underground um, uh, around the base of this thing. Hmm. Probably where he went. Do we want to run him down? This way. It's yeah, maybe to, it's we would have a north. lot more luck killing him if he was asleep. It's going to it's going to the north. <laughs> you think sure, he you guys sleeps? want to go down there and take it and drag Nevin down there? I oh, we can leave him on Nevin's the inside. perfectly safe inside. in his bush, thank you. <laughs> He's gonna leave him in the boulders. <laughs> He's leave in the boulders. The, yeah. yeah. Old man's gonna die out here. Alright, so you guys descend and there's a there's a passageway. It's an ancient old passageway that's been cut. It's 
in in the underground uh it is lined with stones uh so this it is reinforced there are intermittently there are uh torches burning in here it's lit and you it just goes on for as far as you can see to the north uh you guys want to take that how long how long as the crow flies is it to the um to willow lake from here it took you guys about 30 40 minutes to get there in the in the wow. storm. So this is a like a 30 minute walk underground. Yeah. Wow. Well, you guys okay. want to walk? What do you think or do we or do we go to the elves with what we know? No, let's try and kill this guy right now before he sets up 15 guards down here waiting for us. All right, so you <laughs> <laughs> you guys you guys walk and yeah it's like a 20 minute walk you eventually you come to a door you come to a closed door a big wooden door at the end of this uh this long 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 path that's been carved out underground do you want to open it yes all right you slowly swing it open looking to see if there's anybody on the other side and uh you you see a, f a familiar sight. You it opens up to the the cell that Nevin was in, and you're back in uh, you're back in the Thane's little secret chamber there underneath his room. Is anybody in the chamber? I don't know. You want to go? You want to go a little further in and see a uh, poke around? What do Can I, I see when I look a, the door? Uh, stealth and try and lead. Yeah, yeah, you can roll stealth. The other side of the door is the, the cell that Nevin was in. The shackles, the manacles are laying there. We don't hear anything, do we? Partial success. You don't hear anything. Uh, so, Gandril, you start poking forward, and you tell everybody that you're going to go scope it out. And uh, you start poking around, and you look into the next room where that altar was, with the bowl of blood and the big table where that book was found and uh you get there and you see you look up and it looks like the uh, trap door leading up into his room is closed okay uh, you 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 you're the no you did come down here you weren't the only one that didn't go down here apple stains i, the only I one did that come down here yeah, i didn't yeah. come down okay i guess i wave everybody into the room and uh I guess I'm going to go up the thing and see if I can stealthily get into his uh, bedroom. Another stealth roll? Uh, any yeah, please. Change? Yeah, 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 please. Any difficulty change? No. Do you want to spend the drive point? Reroll it with a plus 10? Yes. <laughs> All these <clears throat> partial successes. So you push open the trap door and you look ever so slightly, like through a crack into the Thane's room. Um, the grug that usually covers up this trap door is mysteriously not there. And See, uh, now how badly would that have gone if that rug was there, huh? <laughs> huh? You look around. You don't see any feet. You don't hear anybody. Uh, you look over in the direction of the door, and it looks like the door to the Thane's room is wide open. Uh, and you can hear, you can clearly hear, there's, like, panicking and anarchy and just, like, ev going on outside, in the streets, um, also happening within this within the longhouse. And the door is wide, wide open to the room. All right, I guess I'm going to go back down the uh, ladder instead of going into the room and tell everybody what's going on. What do you want to do, guys? Do you want to do you want to go into his room and wait for him to try and ambush him, or do you want to uh, try and get out of here? We need to try to rally the guard. We don't. Guard. We still don't know if the uh, mercenaries are in league with him, other than what they were paid. That there are twice as many 
mercenaries as there are guard. Like yeah, three I mean, times. Right. I, I think the, the, the calculus on this is that we have to assume that they're with him. Or if they're not with the Dark Master, that at the very least they're not going to turn on him just because he's not a nice guy. But we can't leave all these people here to be killed by them either. Well, I don't think we could stop 30 or 40 armed men. We have to get reinforcements. Oh, the door, uh, do this as a door. Say, ah, uh, you're Sorry. right. We, we must defend him, but we must get help. We cannot fight in an army ourselves. The other option is wait in his room and try and take him out when he finally comes back. If he comes back. I, I might be worth that chance. You all gotta, you know, curl up and sleep in his bed. I think we need to get Nevin awake and healed. We could hold up in his tower. We need Nevin to tell us the true power of this guy. Yeah, let's just hope Nevin's not in PTSD mode while he's sitting in his torture chamber. <laughs> I thought you left him in the in the boulders. <laughs> he's like outside where we can. Yeah, he didn't come yeah. with us. He, he, he's he's back back there. I. I think we take the we take what we know back to the elves. Do you want to try and um, wake up um, Nevin? Yeah, but we, well, we'd have to go back and get him. Yeah, um, we could come back here anytime. Yeah, now we know the secret entrance. Of course, he knows we know. So you're just going to slap Nevin around and... Hey, uh... uh what, what, what? What has happened? What is? What has come of... Hey, Maydark, like? you got any oil in your uh, bag? Your well, bag yes, of my bag is filled with all, all manner of things. All you right. Wanna you want to burn the place down? No, I want to grease the heck out of the uh, hinges coming up out of this basement in case we need to sneak in here later. Enough. Maybe I'll stop rolling partial successes on it. <laughs> could uh, could give you a plus twenty bonus. Why don't we just leave the halfling under his bed to murder him later? <laughs> <laughs> so you're trying to grease on him, Nev. You've uh, more naive woken up, Nevin. So what, what, okay. what? What is happening? What is? What is happening with like what has become of it? Where is where is that trade of Wolfric? <clears throat> he was at these uh at the mound trying to summon whatever it is the stone allows him to do. Oh no, did you did he succeed? No, we've interrupted the ritual. We where... need to know how powerful he is. What can he accomplish? He he is in league with the Dark Master and he they, they plan on bringing a great army here. I fear if he's already started the process. Did, what happened? What what was the situation? When we finally found you, we, we came back to town, and there was, what, five riders, red caps, chasing us as we came into town. So they're close. The army's close to the north. Where are we now? We're at the entrance to the, uh, I guess we're at the mound. No, you're, you're the, in Willow uh, Lake, aren't you? Oh, are we back no, no. in Willow Lake? No, we're, uh, he was at the mound. Oh, you guys stay at the mound. Oh, okay. We left him at the mound. We had to go back to get him. And do you know if Hakar and his men are in league with the Dark Master as well, or were they just merc standard mercenaries you, bought? And so, so did we walk back, or what, what we walk yeah. back? Oh, okay, to wake him up. All right. Uh, he said, oh, yeah, the mercenaries, they are, they, are, they are in league with the Fane. Well, no, he's with the Thane, but do they serve the Dark Master as well? I don't know. I think they can be reasoned with. You're asking Evan if he's odd. I'm an old wizard. I don't know. <laughs> you ask him about mercenaries. Do you have a spell for that? I have have, you, have you? Get me to my tower. Get me to my tower. Oh, great. I need to get to my notes. I hope you don't need the map. Oh, my map! I, I chronicled <laughs> the whole route and placement of all of the Dark Master's oh. troops between here and the north. Uh, Why? Cl <laughs> cl climb into this rug. 
<laughs> so you guys walked all the way there, and now you've walked all the way back. It's like, give me my tower. <laughs> Getting our steps in. I mean, we can get him to his tower, but are we going to be able to make it into the gate and get there? We don't need to go through the gate. We can go he through said, the things. He says, I can, I, I can solve that. Uh, he starts casting, he's coughing, <laughs> he starts casting a spell, and he lets loose this incantation. You guys all look at each other, and when you look at one another, you to each other, you appear like you're you're dressed in the same garb as the mercenaries. Oh. Hmm. Nice. We should have nice. woke this guy up before. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Give me to my tower. All right, let's get back to the tower. Will this spell allow you to make one of us look exactly like someone else? He's passed back out. <laughs> Wait, we need, we need to he kill goes, he says, our... no, I'm not. I'm too weak. I can just mask your appearance. I can't make... If I were stronger, I could make you look like someone else. That's what I need. <clears throat> so you guys make your way back. You go back there and you've greased this thing to hell now to... Uh... <laughs> To not be able to open it or whatever it is that you said, you just push up. It's just a, it's just, I don't know what you're greasing. Yeah, it's just but a hatch, it's, so you the, push it up. The hinge it, 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 the hinges. Oh, then yeah. it moves silently. It doesn't make yeah. any sound because you've greased it so well. We don't want to, uh, I don't, we don't want any more partial successes on that. You, you, you got WD 40 all over that. It's all good. So you guys are standing in this room. There's no guards or anything. Again, it's just like panic happening out in the streets. Outside the uh, the Thane's house, where do you want? Do you want to go with the window? Do you want to walk through the door? You do have Nevin with you, so what do you want to do? I think the window's been um, well established as an exit route. So you're just gonna hop out the window into the uh, into the uh, the shadows. So yeah, you guys go through the window. And uh, before just... we before we get any further, um, yeah. Enoch's gonna turn to Applestain. He's gonna say, <laughs> "We're going stealthily." <laughs> And I, I look down at, at my gauntlet and I tap my breastplate. I'll try my best. <laughs> okay. Just don't draw attention to yourself. <laughs> and let's do our best not to pick any fights. Yes. Wasn't trying to the first yeah, time. Yeah, apple stain. <laughs> oh, man. I swear I thought that's what his name was because that's, that's what I heard every time. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's a good name. I'm sorry. So you guys go out into the streets, and there's, like, torches are lit everywhere. It's, like, 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning now. It's still the middle of the night. You guys haven't stopped. Um, torches are lit, and you can see people are, like, packing their belongings at their houses, and they're packing all of their earthly belongings, and it looks like they're putting on the carts and getting ready to go. Uh, there's There are mercenaries milling about, and they're ordering people to hurry and move, and you guys are able to make it through the town unmolested by guards you look like one of them the odd one will stop and hey go, get, go over to the east we got to go look at this and make sure people are gathering stuff and getting out of here and they kind of boss you around order you around and tell you to go over there because they think you're one of them uh you get to nevin's tower and uh with nevin in your presence you, you you try the door the door all of a sudden opens now magically with him being with you remember last time you weren't able to open it, it was magic mm -hmm. sealed and um yeah you guys go inside and the general area there's just like a sitting area and you guys go up the tower you bring up the tower and you put him down in his bed up a, at the top of the tower where his his study is and so he can rest but when you guys get to the top of the tower you guys this the whole purpose of this tower it was an old guard tower back in the day that's the whole purpose of this building that he lives in and you guys can see all the way around the land to the north, towards the lake, you guys see that there's just a line of torches in the distance towards the lake, burning. And you can see that the land behind them is on fire. How far away? Far, towards the lake. So you're in Willow Lake, and it's back towards the lake. So uh, roughly the distance from the mound? Yeah, roughly. So like a half hour's walk? Half hour, 45 minutes. Through the, okay. through the farms. I don't think we got a lot of time in here. We gotta we gotta get back to that tunnel and get that, the hell south. That is the end of the adventure. That is the end of Winds of War. Oh. <laughs> Front row. So the conclusion will be in the dun, uh, dun, dun. in the last part of the adventure that comes with those who kickstart this game. We don't even know what's gonna happen. Yeah, this is Act Two. Remember, it's supposed to it's supposed to end on a real low point. 
when you're writing so, stuff. Act two is always supposed to be the downer. So, so when when are we when is that Act three out? We got to ask the creators because they 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 put this together for us uh, to play. So I don't think it's ready anytime soon. Call it a wrap, lol. That's right, Boffrin. So against the Dark Master. I'm dropping the link in the chat right now. Go check it out. That's not it. That's our, that's my Twitch channel. Hey, that's my Twitch channel. If you're here, check that out too. <laughs> but if you want to check out the Against the Dark Master Kickstarter, then go here. Go back them. Go back to the project. There's 10 days left on it. The thing is already funded, so it's a guarantee. It's done. These guys have... The book is... I think it's 80 or 90% written. Um, most of the art is already completed, so... It's a done deal. It's no, there's no gamble here. You're gonna get a book, so please check it out in the uh, the last few days of the campaign. I think Encounter Roleplay is also doing a two session adventure starting tomorrow. So yeah, real big time. They're going to the big boys are running their game also, so that should help them out. But uh, thank you to everybody who joined us for this. Thank you for everyone who uh, joined us for the journey for Winds Winds of War. I say win. I say it wrong every time. Uh, and thank you to the players. This is uh, the OG group is back. The first group to play on Jowzam's Den is back. You know, minus GN tonight. But it was good to have these guys all back together again playing and running something for them. Because uh, it's good times when we get this group together. Yep. And thank you for running. Thank you. And thank you yes, to sir. Wes. Thank you to Wes for building <laughs> this character sheet. I already see the, ne the new one. The updated one. Yeah, I want to see that too. For when we play part three. It's looking good. All right. Have a good night, Thanks, everybody. everybody. We will see you on Tuesday when we do Coriolis. You joining me for that, Oak? Yeah. Okay. Coriolis, Tuesday night at uh, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. No, 9 p.m. Central Standard Say Time. I lied. 9 p.m. 8, 8 my time. All right. Have a good night, everybody.